This is the Akai MPC Studio. Yeah, the new Akai MPC Studio. Large strip on the side. It's got a nice knob right here. And of course, the Akai pads. I made a beat with this and I even tested the sampling features and I have something to say about that in this video. This is a MIDI controller focused on producing beats, music, with the Akai MPC software on your computer. This is not standalone. You'll need a computer connected to use this and generate sounds. So look, no audio ins and outs, just a USB and some MIDI ins and outs if you wanted to connect a synth or something. So who is this good for? Well, if you're comfortable making music on your computer or you want to learn how and really want some hands-on control instead of using a mouse, this would be great for you. In this video, I'll list five things I really like about the MPC Studio, and I'll even touch on some issues I found. I'll include links to the best prices for the MPC Studio in the video description below. If you're new around here, I'm Sanjay C. I've got videos about music gear, plugins, and the latest from the modern music world on my channel. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. I always get straight to the good stuff in my videos and reviews. So yeah, Let's get to the good stuff. Now, I haven't tried a lot of different Akai pads, but I can tell you that these feel really good. Sensitivity, stiffness, very comfortable to play. And this is the first thing I like about the MPC Studio. To me, it feels a little less sensitive than the Machine Micro if you're used to that but you can also adjust the sensitivity in the MPC settings if you need to, but I could never get it to the sensitivity level of the Machine Micro. But hey, you might prefer this. Now, drum pad feel is highly subjective, but I've played drum pads from lots of manufacturers and I'm consistently impressed by the pads on Akai products. And the MPC Studio is no exception. So a little bit about this beat. Once I've chosen the drum kit, I'm just layering drum hits and samples. This kit included drum hits and some cool instrument samples. It came with the MPC Studio. You can toggle the overdub button on or off to record in the notes you play on the pads, or you can just audition and practice with the overdub button off. And this is the second thing I like about the MPC Studio. After loading a drum kit, the overdub feature lets you experiment, undo, try again, and I was having a lot of fun very quickly with the basic features. So the drum kits were easy to load up and play and record. And when I tried loading an instrument sound from one of the sound packs, I stumbled and I couldn't figure out how to make it work. Plugins, on the other hand, were fairly simple to use. At times, I was using my trackpad instead of the MPC controller, when I'm pretty sure I could have used the controller instead. I just couldn't figure out how, and clicking in the software just felt a little bit more intuitive. By the way, I really like the form factor of this device. It's the perfect size for a desktop and the build is heavy and solid. This is the third thing I like about the MPC Studio. It's very easy to carry this in your backpack with a computer and some headphones. So that makes beat making on the go really easy. If there's one thing I'd complain about with the form factor, it's the size of the screen and the font on the screen. It's super tiny, especially browsing kits or instruments. It's pretty hard to read anything. But of course, you can glance at your computer screen for a better view. Lots of devices are using these tiny screens now, so I can't fault Akai for trying to keep things inexpensive. It's still kind of useful. Real quick, I didn't include this in the list of five things I love, but I should mention that I really like the way they've implemented octave shifting. It's these four buttons here, and it's just super easy and quick to adjust your octaves. Hey, let me know what you think about beat making controllers like this. Do you prefer something standalone like an MPC One, or are you okay with carrying around your computer with something like the MPC Studio? Leave a comment below.
Now the fourth thing I like about the MPC Studio is the sampling workflow. I have to admit, I kind of stumbled upon it after I loaded a sample from Splice, but once I did, it was easy to use. I'll say again that it was easier to chop samples using the computer screen and mouse. That may be the intended workflow, but you do have the sample start and end buttons on the controller itself, and that may be more efficient once I get used to the workflow. Hey, if you're creating beats at home, you should be releasing them to the world. When you're ready, make sure you check out DistroKid, the sponsor of today's video. DistroKid is an online service that lets you upload any music you make to share with the world. Yes, you can get your music on Apple Music, Spotify, Pandora, all those platforms, and it doesn't cost much either. You can upload unlimited tracks for just $20 a year. And DistroKid collects your earnings from the plays and purchases on those platforms and sends those earnings to you. They've got some great features, including getting you verified on Spotify, giving you lots of ways to promote your music, including hyperfollow pages to help people follow you, and looping videos that play when someone listens to your music on Spotify. So yeah, many ways to enhance your audience's experience. I get lots of questions about DistroKid, so I made a couple of videos answering the top questions. You can watch them here. And if you want a discount on your first year of DistroKid membership, I'll put a link in the video description. The fifth thing I really like about the MPC Studio is the ability to pitch or change any sample on the pads using the 16 level feature. Take this hi-hat for example, and just pressing 16 level allows me to load the hi-hat on all the pads tuned chromatically. Hey, real quick, the note repeat feature is really well integrated as well. Using the touch strip along with the note repeat button works well, and you have visual feedback right next to the strip to show you the note division for your note repeats. Nicely done, Akai. You can do other things with the touch strip, like pitch bends, play notes, controlling cue links, and more. So there are some drawbacks to the MPC Studio and the MPC workflow in general. First is the obvious, this is not a standalone device, so you'll always have to have your computer with you, unlike the MPC One and other MPC devices or Machine Plus. Second, there is a definite learning curve to learning the MPC workflow, even if you're coming from another DAW. I'm new to it and I got stuck a number of times. That said, when I loaded a kit and started recording, I was having a lot of fun very quickly with the basic features. So the Akai MPC Studio is a reasonably priced way to enter the world of MPC beat making with your computer. It works really well. And although I did have some minor hiccups along the way, it's part of the learning experience. If you're into beat making, this follows a tried and tested workflow that will be worth learning in the long run. Hey, if you wanna check out some of the plugins that could help your music producing experience, check out my plugin demos right here. Keep making the music you love and I'll see you soon.